Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to block or prevent the execution of specific commands inside your spigot or bucket plugin. First of all, let's create a new class inside our project. I'm going to call it block commands. Next we need to implement the listener. Then we're going to create a method with the add event handler annotation. For the argument we need a player command preprocess event. To make a list of blocked commands, I will create a string array containing the blocked commands. For now, we will just block slash pl slash plugins and slash help. Now if we want to block commands that start with some string, we will do the same and create a string array. Let's block commands that start with slash minecraft and slash bucket. After that, we need to work on the onCommand function. I'm going to define these three variables. The message, which is pretty much the whole command. The message argument, which just splits the message by a space character, and the player. Then we need a boolean variable, which we will set to false at first. To check if the command is in our equals array, we will turn this array into a list and use the contains function to check if it contains our command. If this is the case, let's set the blocked boolean to true. To check if the command starts with something that we don't want, it's a bit more complicated. For each string inside our blocked starts array, we will check if the command starts with it. If so, again we will set the blocked boolean to true. If we want to have a permission for the player that can execute these commands, I'm going to define a string variable. Alright, now we need an if statement, which checks if the blocked variable has been set to true, and the player does not have the right permissions. If that is the case, we will simply cancel the command and send a message to the player. Let's just say, sorry, but this command has been disabled. Finally, we need to register our blocked commands listener in our main class using bucket.getPluginManager.registerEvents. For the listener we need to put our listener, and for the plugin our main class, so this. That's it. Let's export this plugin and reload the server. Alright, now as an operator I can still execute these commands. If I do not have the right permissions, we cannot execute this command, so we get the message. That is pretty much it. If you have an idea for a plugin I could make, please let me know, and I will do my best to fulfill this request. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you would like to see more videos of this kind, you can subscribe by clicking the channel icon in the video end card. Again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.